given our generic form of area of a triangle using trig. We have one half AB sine C in a triangle where the vertices are capitalized only because we call points by capital letters and we call the corresponding opposite letters in lowercase, then the area of the triangle can re be represented by one half times AB sine C, where in this case C is the angle between the sides A and B. Turns out we can also represent it by the equation one half BC sine A because we have two legs of the triangle and we have the angle between them, we can calculate the area. Now for this triangle, the area, the area should be the same, no matter how you calculate the formula. So we could also represent it by one half AC sine B. Now it turns out we can do some interesting things with these equations. If we set them equal to each other, because the areas are the same, Let's take two of these, one-half AB sine C, and set it equal to one-half BC sine A. Both sides of this equation have some things in common. Both of them have one-half. So let's multiply both sides by two, and that goes away. Both have B. So let's divide both sides by B, and we're establishing still a similar relationship. So we get A sine C equals C sine A. What I want to do is take the sines to the opposite side. Let's divide both sides by sine A. Divide both sides by sine C. And I get a relationship between the length of a side of a triangle and the sine of its opposite angle. I have A over sine A is equal to the length of C over sine of its opposite angle, C. It turns out the same is true for B over sine of B. This is true for every triangle, right triangle or not. And we call this the law of sines. Now, in a triangle, we know one angle is 17 degrees. We know opposite that, we have a side length 4. Another angle we have as 81 degrees. What is the length of the opposite side to 81 degrees? Challenge question. You and a group of friends are going skiing. It's the end of the day. Everyone's had a fantastic time skiing. And you're at the beginning of the ski lift, 0.7 miles from the base of the mountain. The base of the mountain has a 50 degree angle of elevation. And the ski lift descends in a straight line at an angle of 20 degrees. The sunset at the top of the mountain is going to happen in 20 minutes exactly. And it's the best sunset on the entire coast. If the ski lift travels at exactly three miles per hour, are you and your friends going to make it to the top of the mountain in time? <laughs> 